Welcome back. Let's look at the familiar topics. Now, remember, familiar context means that you need to familiarize yourself with the different scenarios so that you can interpret the questions. When we get to conversions, remember it includes time, that will be household, school and wider community projects like baking, cooking, catering and building. You will also measure weight, volume and distance and calculate perimeter, area, volume and surface area. For maps and scale, you will work with maps showing seating plans of a classroom, <clears throat> sorry for that, a layout of buildings or sports field at a school, a layout of stores at a shopping centre, and then seating plans in cinemas, sports stadiums, examination halls, weddings and metric dances. That is just a few examples. Maps and scale continued. You will work with maps showing street maps with and without grid reference, national and provincial roads and rail maps, and then floor and elevation plans. With plans, you will look at instruction and assembly diagrams containing both words and pictures. And then when it gets to models, packaging is very important and that will mostly be fruit juice containers, chocolate boxes or something like that. Some general tips for answering paper two. Number one, always start with question one. Now remember, question one is your easy question and that will give you confidence to do the next questions in the paper. Read your instructions carefully, especially surrounding rounding and also pi instructions in paper two. Underline your keywords. Remember, sometimes there's too much information and they only want a small part so that you can calculate Therefore, you need to underline your keywords so that you don't need to reread everything all the time. Round correctly and show all units. Remember, we don't always round to two decimals. We round to context now. So if it's people, you round to whole numbers. Know your terminologies. Remember, they will ask you questions where you define some context or concepts, and that's easy marks, so know your terminologies. Time management is very important. Don't spend too much time on a question that you are struggling with. Rather move on and come back if there is time left. Choose one solution. Never use and, or, or. Remember, you need to give us the answer. We can't decide for you. And then a last one. Please don't use Tipex or a pen that can be erased. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps. See you again soon. Goodbye.